Harvest season is starting, but that's not why one group is on tractors. It's over the Miami Indian tribal lawsuit. And airline passengers found themselves stranded today at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Plus, many more children are on medication for attention deficit disorder. But a new study suggests not all of them need it. Those stories and more are next here on NBC News Channel 15. Stalls makes it easy to shop for furniture. That's because Stalls is the only furniture store in central Illinois to feature four galleries under one roof. When you visit Stalls, you get a Lexington gallery, a Flex Steel gallery, a Lazy Boy gallery, and a Thomasville gallery, plus free delivery and guaranteed low prices all under one roof. Four unique galleries all in one great store. Stalls Furniture Room to Room. America's first family. Watch today and you will see the folks you count on every day to bring the latest news your way. Katie, Matt, Alan, Dan, first on your TV. America's first family, today on NBC. Come on! Channel 15, your local news comes first. WICD, Champaign, Urbana, Danville, covering more of the Champaign and Vermilion County area. This is the NBC News Channel 15 News at noon. The fight over this land prompts several residents to hop on their tractors today. Good afternoon, I'm Doug Quick. Residents in Ford County are at the county courthouse today protesting the Miami Indian tribal lawsuit. The residents arrived on tractors and met with county board members. Board members announced late this morning that they oppose the lawsuit and any casino that may ever come to the area because of that suit. Today's heated discussion centers around 2.6 million acres of land the tribe claims belongs to it. The tribal leaders are suing 15 landowners in East Central Illinois for land in 15 different counties. Now we're at today's protest and we'll bring you the very latest tonight at 5 and 6. Flight schedules are getting back to normal at Chicago's O'Hare Airport, but last night, severe storms stranded hundreds of airline passengers. More than 300 flights were grounded as the storms ripped through Illinois and Wisconsin, knocking out power for thousands of Chicago area residents. Many of the stranded passengers spent the night on cots or under large boxes. Up to three inches of rain fell in the Chicago area, and lightning caused several fires. Well, we weren't hit as hard overnight as the Chicago area, but we did get some storms and a lot of rain in some areas. Let's go to Keith Page now for a first look at this afternoon's weather. Keith? Yes, I'd say we got hit reasonably hard with an inch and a third of rain overnight, and of course that's quite going to add quite to our total. As you can see, however, we're going to expect the clouds to move out of the region and give us mostly sunny skies today. Daytime high 75. Be clear skies tonight with a low of 51 chilly degrees. And then we'll warm up just a bit tomorrow, 78 and sunny. Current temperature, 65 degrees, which is 5 degrees cooler than it was at midnight today. Grant, I mean, Doug. <laughs> Arizona Senator John McCain will be hearing from Bridgestone, Firestone, and Ford leaders today on Capitol Hill. They're going to be testifying before the Senate Commerce Committee about the Firestone tire recall. Senator McCain chairs that committee. This is the second hearing on the tire recall since Thursday. Transportation Rodney Slater will also be on hand. He's drawing criticism from some who say the Transportation Department should have been involved in the case sooner. Newly released documents show that Bridgestone, Firestone officials were concerned about tread separation long before last month's recall. And that recall involved six and a half million tires. 
The USDA is expected to release its September crop yield report today, and what they expect to see has some of them a bit worried. Tonight, some local farmers, or last night rather, some local farmers met to discuss the prices they hope to bring in at market. Dry weather in our area and low yields in other areas spell trouble for farmers who are already facing low corn and bean prices. Market analysis last evening shared their predictions about the recent price trends. Well, we've heard all these things before. Promise of bull markets, and we're still waiting. Whether it's bullish or bearish, no one really knows when you get into a, a government report. I kind of think the, the October number will probably be a little more solider because USGA uh, will have a better chance of looking at actual yields. Swicker says grain prices have been in decline for the past three years due to good weather and high yields, but he expects prices to increase slightly by next spring. Well, we'll have the results of that report. We'll have the results uh, of that report when they become available. President and First Lady Hillary Clinton switched roles today. It was the president who cast a ballot for his wife as candidate for New York's soon-to-be vacant Senate seat. The Clintons arrived at the polling place shortly after 7. Tuesday morning, First Lady Hillary Clinton is expected to get the Democratic nomination for the Senate seat in her first appearance on a ballot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's it like to vote for your wife for the first time? It was a thrill to do. A role reversal all these years of her helping me. It was a, it was a thrill. I loved it. If Clinton gets the nomination, she'll be facing Republican candidate Rick Lazio, who is running unopposed. Suspended New York Yankee Daryl Strawberry will now serve two years in house arrest after this morning for his latest encounter with the law. The eight-time All-Star was charged and convicted of driving under the influence of medication and leaving the scene of an accident Monday morning. Strawberry apologized to the court and admitted that he used bad judgment. It's kind of hard, you know, I feel it's physically ill right now. And um, I did make a mistake. I was going to see my probation officer and then used the wrong judgment of taking medication because I didn't feel well that morning and and I basically blacked out. I didn't I didn't see it. If Strawberry successfully completes one year of house arrest, Strawberry will go back to his regular drug, drug offender probation. The outfielder will also be subject to drug tests every few weeks. Well, in two days, Champaign County sheriffs will be hearing more information about a syringe exchange program. A local group wanted to break the cycle of what it calls a serious issue in East Central Illinois. The threat of spreading HIV and other diseases is large because drug addicts sometimes share dirty needles. Shut it. Yeah. Syringe exchange is, is, is based upon um, a, a common sense public health principle, removing the syringes that are contaminated, contaminated from circulation. Um, that's, what it's, that's what it's based upon. If you would like to know more about the needle exchange program, call 390-3548. Currently, Spiegel says they're looking for a building to house the HIV prevention outreach program. Well, the Reverend Al Sharpston is calling for a boycott of Burger King. Sharpston says the world's number two fast food chain is wrong for attempting to revoke a black Illinois man's franchises. Sharpston let the public know by staging a protest at a Burger King in New York on Monday. He's demanding that Burger King hire a minority-owned investment firm and a minority-owned advertising agency. Sharpston says the boycott will start on Saturday unless Burger King can come up with some answers. Burger King officials deny race as a factor for their dealings with the black Chicago area owner in question. They also say two of the company's three advertising agencies are minority owned. Many doctors claim attention deficit disorder is overdiagnosed and often misdiagnosed. We'll tell you about another disease with the same symptoms. Then premium gas may not be the best kind for your car. Find out how to decide. And making someone else's meal is an honor for this man. He's headed to Sydney. Find out why when News Channel 15, News at Noon, continues.
Stand by you, it's what we do. O'Brien Automotive Team. Stand by you, we're ready for you. O'Brien Automotive Team. At our dealerships, we believe that one good thing leads to another. Volume buying leads to... A better selection, which leads to better pricing, which leads to... Better customer service and satisfaction, which all lead back to why you, you should, should be, be buying, buying from O'Brien. It's Lebanon's September Saving Sale. Save now on high-quality mattress sets, waterbed replacements, electric adjustable beds, and bedroom furniture. Right now, get free delivery, free setup, free disposal of your old bedding, and a free bed frame with any premium set. Plus, take six months to pay with no interest. So, where do you go for the greatest mattresses? Lebanon, Lebanon, everybody knows it's Lebanon. We will strengthen Social Security and Medicare for the greatest generation and for generations to come. I believe great decisions are made with care, made with conviction. We will make prescription drugs available and affordable for every senior who needs them. You earned your benefits. You made your plans. And President George W. Bush will keep the promise of Social Security. No changes, no reductions, no way. Watching the news source for Champaign and Vermilion Counties, NBC News Channel 15. The news continues. There are millions of children in the U.S. and Canada diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Many of them are promptly put on potent medication, but an alarming number of these children may not have ADHD at all. Lucky Severson reports on another disorder that often gets overlooked and misdiagnosed. She would punch herself and pull her hair because she was so frustrated. She knew how to say it, but she couldn't get it out. Then we have to call. That was the first few years of life for Nicole Pedersen. She was a bright child. He ate. They didn't know if she was even capable of learning. Which? But something was wrong. Let's put these on. It would be several years before Nicole was diagnosed with a mysterious condition called Central Auditory Processing Disorder. Low. Or CAPD. Somebody with CAPD may hear something, but not hear consonant sounds even or words the same way you and I do. Children with CAPD hear normally but because of a short circuit in their brain what they hear is difficult to process. A person with CAPD hears a world of distorted sounds and words rushing at them way too fast. Learning becomes an indecipherable challenge. It's no surprise then that so many children with CAPD are misdiagnosed as having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. Touch the blue circle. Despite what six doctors told her, Nicole's mother refused to accept that her daughter had ADHD. Four. A specialist eventually seven, diagnosed four, her correctly. Nine. When they told us that she didn't have it, it was like the skies were bluer, you know. You could really focus on what the disability was. Could your child be suffering from CAPD? for a list of warning signs and to watch this story online log on to the internet at healthsurfing.com I'm Lucky Severson reporting and Keith is back we picked up some rain some thunderstorms overnight better than an inch and a third that's good news for us although I hope it doesn't continue <laughs> well, the forecast this morning said things will be getting better yes we see the skies clearing and I'll show you a time lapse of that uh, in just a moment but, of course, today, this week, I've devoted to uh, what we call uh, Violent Weather Week. Mm -hmm. Those are the questions. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Uh -oh, what we're... state did the new Madrid earthquake occur in? Alaska, California, or Missouri? You should be able to get this one. We'll give you the answer to that. Take a look at the weather. Calcium, lime, rust, hard water minerals that build up to leave stubborn stains that you just can't scrub away. Industrial strength CLR makes those hard water deposits disappear. Look how quickly it dissolves the lime buildup on this humidifier filter. And if rubbing and scrubbing doesn't get your coffee decanter clean, CLR will make it look new again. That bitter taste will disappear when you clean your coffee maker with CLR. If your washing machine is leaving rust stains on fabric, run CLR through a wash cycle and see the difference. Calcium deposits make your shower head spray in all directions, but just dip it in CLR. Instantly it will spray like new again. 
CLR works just as fast and easy on tubs, basins, and toilet bowl stains. Watch how fast and easy it removes rust stains from cement and stucco. Get money-back guaranteed CLR at all leading stores. CLR is available at Walgreens, Eagle Country Market, Ace, Kroger, Jewel, Osco, Kmart, Do It Best Centers, Furl, CVS, Lowe's, True Value, and Schnucks. At Wayne's Farm and Fleet, you'll find a hardware store within our store. Get a Delta 10-inch professional table saw featuring auto set, miter gauge. It's just $499.99. Plains Farm and Fleet has quality sack refilled sealer. It provides added traction on blacktop areas while protecting against gasoline and oil spills. A five-gallon bucket is just $9.99. And pick up quality GE light bulbs. Right now, a 100-watt halogen floodlight bulb is just $3.99. Find value at Plains Farm and Fleet. Champagne, Illinois, what's up? I am the coach. Now pay attention, because the World Wrestling Federation is all set to come back live to Assembly Hall right there in Champaign, Sunday, September 17th, and tickets are on sale right now, so get your. All your favorite WWF superstars will be in the house. The Rock, Triple H, Chris Benoit, Dudley Boys, Val Venus, they'll all be there, and this is the last time we'll come back to Champaign, Illinois in the year 2000. Get your tickets right now. Well, I hope you didn't get awakened by those storms last night. Once again, we got some rain. The amount we got was heavy. And if it happens once again, we'll have to build a levee. Indeed, we have a chance for that sometime Thursday. But you'll notice the skies are slowly clearing. You see the worst of it starting to move up and out of the way. Now, we don't see any clear skies yet, but we will shortly. The precipitation forecast, however, does indicate that by Thursday morning, once again, we're going to see rains developing. And guess what? There's another chance of showers and thunderstorms as that moves our way through the daytime hours on Thursday. This is what it looked like earlier, and this is the back edge of the cloud system, so it's not too long before we're going to see some clear skies through east central Illinois. Indeed, uh, some of this has now moved well east of us. As far as the national map is concerned, it extends all the way from the northeast down through the northern portions of Louisiana and it's all being driven by this cold front that extends all the way now from the western edges of Quebec right down through northern Texas and then ends up in the west central Colorado. The nice thing is, is this high pressure system, which was in the north central plains, is going to be gliding slowly over our area tonight and tomorrow, and it's going to provide us with a mostly sunny, very cool, and very dry day. Isn't that going to be good news indeed? As far as the uh, tropical storm is concerned that you saw on that map, it is uh, packing 69 mile per hour center winds, and Florence is, a, uh, is expected to intensify it is now, as you can see, just off the southeastern coast. No predictions yet as to which direction it's taking or will be taking and whether it will be affecting us. We'll keep you posted. Subtropical jet stream making a dip right now through the northern portions of the Mississippi Valley and leaving cool conditions there, as you can see. 71 degrees in the St. Louis area. Our temperature 65, humidity 97%. Winds are out of the north-northwest at 8, and the barometer holding at 29.98. Temperature is reasonably cool. 64 degrees is the coolest. That's in Decatur. 65 in Cisna Park, Rantoul, Champaign-Urbana. 68 in Danville. 69 degrees in Petersburg. 70 degrees in Mattoon, and the warmest right now is Paris with a 71-degree reading. Our high today was at midnight, 70 degrees, overnight low is 63. We had 1 and 34 hundredths inches of rain, so that's boosted our total now dramatically to 2 and 29 hundredths inches. Our highs today should get up into the mid-70s, and the overnight low is dropping to 51 chilly degrees. But tomorrow we'll have sunny skies, or mostly sunny skies, throughout the daytime hours. Forecast looks like this. For today, we anticipate mostly sunny skies sooner or later with the daytime high 75 degrees. And then tonight, it'll be mostly clear but cool. Overnight low is 51. And tomorrow, we're going to anticipate mostly sunny and mild conditions with light winds, daytime high 78. And the extended outlook says, yes, we still have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. And take a look at those temperatures as we approach the weekend, down to 68 degrees with overnight lows in the upper 40s. Getting into some jacket weather. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Snuggle bunny weather. I guess so. Anyway, we've got weather question. And here it is. Okay. What state did the new Madrid earthquake occur in? 
Keith, as I said earlier, you are a generous man. <laughs> Yesterday it was tough, today a little easier. How about C, Missouri? That's exactly right. And as a matter of fact, these were the most severe series of earthquakes in U.S. history. They lasted more than three months could be felt all the way to New York. Mm -hmm. I remember one a few years back that rattled the dishes in the cupboards, you too. Bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, those pump prices are going up again, but we have an easy way for you to save on gas. It may even be better for your car. That's coming up next here on News Channel 15. This is Spotlight 15. Our guest is Rosemarie Wallace from the Alzheimer's Association, and she's here to tell us about the memory walks coming up, an event I was uh, participating in last year in Danville. Give us a few details about this year's event. Thank you, Doug. We want to encourage everyone to get together with their friends from work, church, neighborhood, their gyms, develop a team of walkers and come out to one of the nine memory walks to be held in the 11 counties that we serve in East Central Illinois. There's one in Paxton, Mattoon and Champaign. There's one in Monticello, Hoopston, Rantoul, Shelbyville, Tuscola, and Danville. And in Danville, we not only have a walk, but an auction. And we'd like to see everyone come out and help us to get not only money, but awareness of this disease. And if they would like to participate, there's a telephone number to call for more information, correct? 1-888-686-1726. All right, Rosemary, thanks for being with us on Spotlight 15. I'm Doug Quick. We know keeping up with your family's schedule can be difficult. So let us help you. First News at 5 connects you to the world with the day's top stories. From the stock market to gas prices, Money Matters keeps you informed of the ever-changing financial world. To Your Health cuts through the medical jargon, bringing you news you can use to keep your family safe. And when you just want to relax, the 520 Focus highlights stories for women of all ages. And accurate weather forecasts to help you plan your day. First News at 5, where your local news comes first. NBC News Channel 15, home to the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia, coming in September. If you're paying high prices at the pump because you insist on filling up with premium, you may be spending more than you have to. It's possible you don't need it. Roseanne Coletti tells us how we can save. Some people wouldn't dream of putting anything but premium gasoline, high octane, high test in their car, even at today's prices. It doesn't really need premium, but I like, I like the car to run right. That's and you think it makes a difference? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay, it's a lot more expensive. I know, but uh, I want the car to run right. I don't care for the extra few pennies. I prefer to put premium in my car, but, you know, the prices, it's just ridiculous. I'm waiting for them to lower it. With the price of high test still hovering around $2 a gallon, it's an expensive treat for your car. And according to at least some of the people in the know, an unnecessary one. AMI Auto World Weekly tackles the common myths about premium gasoline. It's going to give your car more power. It's going to make it run better. It's going to make the engine run cleaner. It is not true. In the auto repair business all of his life, Bob does caution some vehicles do require high-octane gasoline for peak performance. But that's the exception rather than the rule. And it's usually all spelled out if you know where to look. It's right there in your owner's manual. If you need high test, it's in the owner's manual. And if your owner's manual doesn't say that you need the high performance gasoline, you don't need it. Listen to your car's engine for clues. If it's making a loud knocking or pinging noise, he says you may have bought a tank of bad gas. A dose of premium may help, but it's probably not the cure for a consistent problem. Now, it can also be caused by an improperly adjusted timing. It can be caused by an engine that's overheating. And it can be caused, also caused by a fuel-related problem. So it, it's very important to have a mechanic to f check to find out why that's happening. Roseanne Coletti for NBC News. In Farm News this afternoon, America's second best dairy land, home of the runner-up cheeseheads. Well, it doesn't sound like much of an honor, but it seems to be where Wisconsin is going. California already leads Wisconsin in milk production, and California is aiming to beat Wisconsin now in cheese production. Well, a killer lawn may someday be more than a way to say the lawn looks good. One company plans to invest about $40 million in biotechnology research. Scott's wants to produce grass that makes its own insecticides. It's also looking into longer blooming flowers. 
And many people dread the thought of cooking all day, but how about making dinner for some of the best athletes in the world? We have the inside scoop at the Olympics, but first, here are today's farm prices courtesy of the Andersons. Day markets are brought to you by Hicks Gas. This year, make the smart choice and get the quality you deserve. Get a new fully assembled grill from Hicks Gas. Hicks Gas has a wide selection of premium brand grills, high quality construction, backed by manufacturer's warranties. No need to mess with those high priced exchanges. Hicks Gas will even fill your 20 pound grill cylinder. Remember, too, Hicks Gas has parts available to fit a wide variety of grills, and they'll service your grill after the sale. So make the smart choice and buy a top quality grill that lasts from Hicks Gas, your one stop shop for the grilling season. The greatest mattress in America, everybody knows it's Lemita. It's Lemita's September Saving Sale. Save now on high-quality mattress sets, waterbed replacements, electric adjustable beds, and bedroom furniture. Right now, get free delivery, free setup, free disposal of your old bedding, and a free bed frame with any premium set. Plus, take six months to pay with no interest. So, where do you go for the greatest mattresses? Lemita, Lemita, everybody knows it's Lemita. Tractors are taking up many of the parking spaces at the Ford County Courthouse. Coming up tonight at 6 on NBC News Channel 15, we're going to take you to that protest that brought all the tractors there and hear the latest on the debate over the Miami Indian Tribe's lawsuit against area landowners. Then, a new study out today suggests that computers in classrooms are a waste of money. We'll have those stories and more tonight at 6. And the weather, she is a changing. Huh? She is a changing. We'll have slowly clearing skies until it becomes mostly sunny with temperatures climbing to 75 degrees, which isn't terribly high. And of course, those winds, of course, have shifted. They're now out of the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And we've gone from 90 degrees to mid 70s. Exactly. What a difference a day makes. Well, we are just days away from Olympic coverage beginning here on NBC and News Channel 15. And today we profile someone who will feed all of those athletes. Eleanor Andrews introduces us to a hospital chef, and he's carving his way into Olympic history. This area over here is a uh, bulk production. Ask anyone who works with a at Chris Bruner. It tells us how many of each we need after they go through all the menus. And they'll tell you he's a man on a mission. Might be slippery, so watch your step. The goal? Helping a staff of 30 cooks and other employees prepare and feed 9,000 patients every day, which sounds like a lot, but is actually good preparation for the more than 50,000 people Chef will help feed during the Olympics. Brunner is just one of 18 chefs worldwide, including nine right here in the United States, who won an Aramark food service competition, gaining the opportunity to cook and create for the champion. I'm excited and yet still kind of nervous because, you know, going into an unfamiliar country, unfamiliar kitchen. I got selected and figured we should share with the, all the folks here at Riverside. Uh, so we figured we'd give them a little entertainment while I can do a little practice before I go over. And actually, that's kind of why we're doing this ice carving, too. What I'll do is, when I get this finished today, I'll go ahead and stick it in the freezer. And then when I come back, if we have a special event, ice carving's already done. But Chef Bruner knows as far as the Olympics are concerned, his work has just begun. Aside from the 12 ice sculptures he'll assist with during open ceremonies in Sydney, requiring 3,600 pounds of ice, Chris will also be in charge of a kitchen that will whip up more than 30 different recipes every day. In Columbus, Eleanor Andrews, News Channel 4. And that is what's going on during the news at noon. Stay with News Channel 15 for all of the day's news and weather. Tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great afternoon. Summer Olympic Games beginning Friday on NBC News Channel 15. 
Stahl's Furniture in Mount Pulaski makes it easy to shop for furniture. That's because Stahl's is the only store in central Illinois.